There are two spotted sharks in here. So, adults, what do you think the tan spotted shark is called? Leopard shark. The spotted shark. The spotted shark. This is actually where the biologist got a little creative. It's actually called a zebra shark. And you're like, wow, a tan spotted shark, a zebra shark. Why? Uh, because when they're pups and they're small, they're born into grass beds, and they are indeed black and white striped. So it camouflages them really well. As they grow up and move out of the grass beds into the sand beds, they actually change their colors to match the bottom. So those are both uh, zebra sharks, and they're from the Pacific. There's a male and a female. Campers, is this the male or female swimming by? No. Uh, and then we do have two nurse sharks. They're both lying uh, down here with their heads up against the, the returns. They just kind of stick their mouth where the water comes out so they can keep breathing. Uh, the largest shark in here is our nurse shark, um, and she's about 10 feet long, I think, 11 feet, or eight, rather, uh, is about 11 feet long. Um, they do that a lot. We find them all over in Florida waters. Uh, things that are not sharks. We have our pink whiptail ray that keeps swimming by. She's very cool. She's about 300 pounds. Uh, she's the, the largest animal in here. Even when we get in there, she's still the largest animal in there. Uh, but she's from the Pacific. She looks a lot like a southern stingray and acts a lot like a southern stingray. Uh, the two animals that are following her are our Kerval jacks. Those are just large jacks. You find them all over. They're good fishing uh, if you get one on the end of a hook. There is the Goliath grouper, which swam out. He didn't have a space sticking out of the little hole there. Um, but that's a small Goliath grouper. Uh, those of you that saw the Goliath grouper on the wreck two days ago, um, this one might feel bigger because he might come out and say hi to you. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but the, uh, the one that we saw on the wreck was, was full grown. So I bet he was six, seven hundred pounds. Big, big fish. This one that we have in here may be between three and three fifty, so about half the size. Um, and then we also do have a sea turtle. I haven't seen her yet. She's probably sleeping in the boat as well. Um, she's a, a, a non-releasable rehab sea turtle. She got caught in the fishing line and had to have her two front flippers amputated. So she can't be released, but she's otherwise very healthy and you'll see her swimming around. Um, so those are all the animals. Any questions on the animals? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right there? Uh, I don't know. He's in the water with a bunch of things that have big teeth. It's a turtle. I was getting ready to say, believe it or not, that's true. <laughs> turtle did that to her. Um, so, good segue. Um, let's talk about how the dive is going to work. Uh, what are you guys going to see when we get ready to get to the Alright, so when I call your name, go ahead and come up and get your certificate. Steven! Congratulations for our almost graduating show. Jay! Congratulations. Sydney! Yay! Nicholas!